So, what are we in now? Is this the third or fourth adpocalypse? Third. Adpocalypse? Have the advertising companies finally unleashed their secret army of ad mascots? No, just a bunch of companies have left YouTube due to the content found on the website. Oh, what is it this time? Did they think that the ASMR videos were porn? Did they not want to advertise on zip popping videos? No, it turns out that YouTube wasn't really paying attention to the videos that were being uploaded and targeted towards toddlers on their YouTube kids section. And some skeevy, pervy, and inappropriate shit got on the site. And by some, we mean thousands of videos with super high view counts. So, porn. No, weird videos that usually feature adults dressed like Spider-Man or Elsa from Frozen doing weird shit. A lot of videos where they just got injections in their butts. So some companies left. Big deal! It only affects those skeevy channels, right? AJ, when a company pulls its advertising, it pulls it for all videos on the site. So pretty much it affects everybody. Except us, because we don't do ad revenue. Oh! So what's with Fundy Monster? Oh, he, uh, he just found out about Patreon. Did Patreon finally carry out its assassination of Brian Bosworth? Do all companies have a nefarious agenda for you, AJ? Pretty much. So what did Patreon do? It restructured the way it charges patrons so that it really hurts both the patrons and the artists. Patrons are jumping off of Patreon. So the only revenue stream this channel depends on is now broken. And how do we feel about this? Um... Meh? Yeah, meh. So we aren't going to have to hear another diatribe from Jason about how people shouldn't rely on YouTube as a career? Nope. Thank. God. We're gonna talk about how YouTube is now a hollow corporate entity that is rapidly changing into a form of entertainment that is blander and stupider than TV ever was. Great, I can't wait to hear about this big bag of sour grapes. There's no sour grapes here. I'm quite happy with our channel. I mean, when we're not being terrorized by monsters and madmen. Okay, one more time, you idiots. What's the plan? The four of us are gonna get on that ship yonder. Good. Then what? Then we use the ship to open a hole into a parallel dimension. Excellent. Then... Then we find another Jason and bring him back here. Just any Jason? No, we need to bring back another evil Jason. Perfect! Now get the fuck out of here! What do you mean YouTube is turning into something worse than TV? YouTube is the alternative to traditional media! You keep believing that, but I was watching YouTube Rewind yesterday, and... Why on earth were you watching that pile of burning garbage? Masochism. Anyways, I was watching it and I realized that most of the heavily featured creators on this fucking back-slapping music video were Vine stars or TV celebrities. You know, like last year's Rewind. Vine? Oh, you mean that dead six-second video website? Yep. So what? They had success on a different platform, and now they've come to YouTube. Stop picking on those poor Vine stars! Uh-oh. Sounds like we have a fan in the garage. I'm not a fan. Sure, there are a couple of them. A couple of guys. A couple of brothers. Who sure are cute in a stupid, abrasive way. But I'm not a fan! Anyway, most of the former Vine stars all belong to the same production company. Most of their videos are just thinly veiled advertisements aimed at children. And they were awful! They're a bunch of pretty, talentless whores who are milking the YouTube algorithm for all the money that YouTube can spray from its sagging tits! Um, maybe we should talk about something else, Jason. No, we're talking about this. They are a bunch of safe, bland, horrible view whores. Based on the Rewind video, YouTube is now the place to go watch these wailing jars of spoiled Miracle Whip! But that Rewind video doesn't represent the real YouTube, just what the YouTube executives want people to believe what YouTube is! And what is it? What is it, AJ? Near as I can tell, YouTube is overrun with React channels and commentary channels and review channels. It has gone from being a place where people create things to a place where people talk about things that other people create! Like what you're doing right now. Shut up or I'll fucking crush you under a pile of baby diapers. New or used. 
Depends on how angry you make me. Okay, so it's time to put this topic away. I am sure that there are more important things going on in the world that we can discuss. There is nothing more important going on right now. One real quick question. Why are we going to go do another dimension to get another evil Jason? Because that evil Jason won't have the same limitations I have. When he gets here, I'll just give him my powers, and then he can destroy Opinionville. Alright, that thing that Papa Jason did that prevents you from using your powers from directly or indirectly harming people of Opinionville. Yes, that thing. But wait, isn't giving your powers to another Jason so he can destroy Opinionville an indirect way of destroying Opinionville? Hey, yeah, I mean, just because you aren't doing it doesn't mean that you didn't cause it. No, see, it doesn't work like that. In fact, isn't making this ship an indirect way of destroying Opinionville? Only if I use it, that's why you four idiots are here. Why do we even have to go to another dimension in the first place? Just give me your powers. Oh, the destruction I could wreak upon the world with powers like yours. Now, wait just a cotton pick a minute. If he's getting powers, then I want some too. Me too. Nobody is getting powers. So let me get this straight. You have your underwears all bunched up around your head because YouTube made a video featuring a bunch of vapid YouTube celebrities that didn't correctly represent what YouTube is? Yes, and more. Oh, great. There's more. I think maybe we should all leave. No, this has been building up inside of me all year and you're all gonna hear it. YouTube is deeply broken. It has gone from the place where people could upload videos and share them with people into this money hungry banality machine with a smile painted on it when we all know that behind that smile there is a ton of shit that YouTube hasn't even addressed yet. Are you saying this is just the beginning? Yes, yes, see, AJ gets it. Hooray, the conspiracy theorist gets it. Well, I don't get it. The beginning of what? Three times this year, YouTube has gotten in trouble with advertisers because they willfully ignored the shit that was being posted to their site. Who wound up paying for it? Everybody. The viewers are now being force-fed a steady diet of pablum from their super cute YouTube stars, while actually good content creators are marginalized. Everybody had their revenue shrink because of all this shit. We all know that some of this crap is still on YouTube. It's only a matter of time before parents find out and then self-regulation. But doesn't YouTube already do that? Kind of. I mean, they do have a code of conduct that people are supposed to follow. Violators are supposed to be shut down and stuff. A code of conduct that was so easy to abuse that other channels would boast about getting channels taken down. No, when I say self-regulation, I'm talking about the real kind. I'm talking about things like the MPAA, the ESRB, and the PALP, or PALP. PALP, what's that? Some kind of foreign off-brand orange juice? No, it's an acronym. It stands for the Parental Advisory Label Program. It's the program that labeled music inappropriate for children. Oh, so what? All of them groups did was put a rating system on stuff. Big deal. Nobody really pays attention to those rating things. Oh, people do. You know who does? Uptight old people? Mormons? Parents! One day soon, there's going to be a parent group, and with the help of some conservative religious organization, they're gonna call for YouTube to start rating the videos on its website. Okay, now I'm interested. Conservative religious groups, did you say? How long is it gonna be before the CEOs of YouTube and other video sharing sites are called before Congress to testify and defend their current practices? Congress would have thousands of examples of content inappropriate for children. Oceans of video hate, racial insensitivity, weird violence, awful prank videos, the roasts, oh, the completely unfunny roasts. But it would be impossible for YouTube to rate every single video. Not if they made it part of the terms of service that we had to put a maturity rating on our own videos. But why would anybody voluntarily do that? They would enforce it the same way TV enforces its broadcast standards. Violators would get fined. Oh, sweet Jesus. Do you see it now, Gary? Do you see the dark arithmetic? Five years from now, YouTube will be an age-restricted hellscape. Most content creators making bland video after bland video, not daring to show any originality or edge. An entire website of Jake Pauls or Lele Pond lookalikes. 
an entire website of advertisements hidden in videos made for morons and children! What do you guys think? What changes have you noticed on YouTube? What would you do to try to return the site back to original alternative media? And if you're a parent and you're disgusted by what you see on YouTube, then join with the First Monsterian Church to put an end to this internet garbage smut. Aw oh man, you win an inspired Fundy again. I didn't mean to. Fundy, I forbid you to campaign against YouTube content. Why not? All this time I wasted trying to put videos on YouTube when where the real money is, is parental outrage against YouTube. Oh man, I just wanted to complain about YouTube, not actually start the parental campaign that ruins it forever. Look, we just have to deal with Fundy's new scheme for about a week. By next Friday, he'll have forgotten all about it and moved on to a different scheme. You better be right, because I feel like I just destroyed YouTube. Look, you morons, indirectly means that I can't just destroy everything but Opinionville. Indirectly means that I can't, like, destroy Skanksburg because that would indirectly injure Opinionville. You get it? So, what if you made a bomb or something, and then we pushed it into town? But I would be making the bomb to specifically destroy Opinionville. But you made this ship to destroy Opinionville. No, I made this ship so that you guys can travel to another dimension. In order for us to get a guy who will destroy Opinionville. Look, stop, stop it, stop it. Everyone just shut the fuck up and get on the goddamn ship. Nope, I don't like this plan. I ain't going. You will go into that ship and do my bidding. Why? Because I can still use my powers to slowly turn you inside out because that doesn't directly or indirectly harm Opinionville. Savvy? Good point. I call Captain's chair. Hey everybody, it's me, Oswald. And welcome to the end of the show, where I tell you where to go. You go down there and you click on the thing, and then you listen to the podcast stuff. I almost had a rhyme there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks for shouting out the podcast. Hey, you know what's coming up? Christmas? What? Wait a minute. What month is it? It's December. And you're just telling me now? Well, I figure you were paying attention to a calendar. I don't know how to read one of those things. You're telling me Christmas is right on its way? Yeah, in like two weeks. Two weeks? Oh man, I haven't even written my letter to Santa Claus. Man, he better get what I want this year. And I hope he forgives me for beating him up that time with the baseball bat. Um... I'm, I'm sure he forgives you. You've been a pretty good boy this year. You think so? Yeah. You don't think he knows about the other things that I've done? Well, he does know everything that you've done. Though he knows about that time that I wanted to make an army of cats. So I just started taking neighborhood cats and putting them in my basement. And every once in a while throwing down some, you know, cat food. Like, you know, Lucky Charms. And, uh, you know, canned hams. Oh man, I forgot the cats are still down there. They're probably pretty angry by now. Why not? All this time I wasted trying to put cars that drive by super loud because they got a tiny penis.